Hey guys, Dan here with Vitertech, and today we're going to be talking about widgets. I'm going to be showing you a bunch of third-party widgets that are coming to iOS 14 either at launch or shortly after. Let's get into it. So Apple announced widgets with iOS 14, and it's probably the headliner feature of the new software. They've given us a look at what their own widgets look like with their native apps. And I've got to say, they've pretty much transformed the way I use my phone. As somebody who's been using Apple Watch since the beginning, I've really gotten accustomed to just glancing at my notifications very quickly without diving into apps. So I'm really excited to see them essentially bring this feature and this functionality of an Apple Watch over to the iPhone home screen. So if done right, widgets are going to bring a lot of core functionalities of apps right to the forefront, right to the home screen, meaning you'll no longer really need to open those apps. So developers are rushing to implement iOS 14 widgets, and a couple of them have given me beta access to their apps so that I can try them out before they launch. So enough talk, now I'm going to show you 35 new widgets that are coming to iOS 14. Okay, so diving into the widgets, we can see here the first one we're going to look at is Spark. So this is a beta app. You're not going to see this yet if you go to your widgets. However, it's coming soon. You can see we've got a two by two here that's a mail counter. So you can see your total mail as well as broken down news and notifications. We've got a larger mail list where you can view your latest emails. Got an even larger one here. Then we've got mail list and quick actions. I'm not actually seeing this through a lot of widgets yet, so it's good to see that you do have functionality to immediately not only dive into your app, but perform specific functions like searching, calendar, attachments, and edit. We've got up next if you're using your calendar with Spark, a larger up next, uh, more of a Gantt chart looking one. This is probably my favorite visually. Mail counters and calendar. And then we've got a larger mail list and calendar. So next we've got Aviary. And Aviary is essentially just a Twitter app. You're able to view your latest tweets. Here you can see it in a small two by two, a four by two, and a four by four. Next, we've got an app called Spending, or Spendy. And here you can see a two by two. It just shows you how much you've spent, gives you a quick balance. This one dives into the spending and the income in a four by two. And that's everything for that. So next, we've got Unwind. This is a relaxation app, and you can see your latest stats in a 2x2. Two two. That becomes a 4x2, and it shows you your current streak as well as your total for today. And then we have a 4x4. Four four. Next, we've got Parcel. So this is just like it sounds, a package tracking app. You can see your latest delivery here. Obviously, this is just test info that's showing right now. We've also got multiple packages that you can show here in a 4x2. And then we've got even more packages if you're frequently shipping things, and that shows four different deliveries in a 4x4. Next, we've got Health Export. So here you can see your total activity. It's just a nice way of using it through a third-party app. It gives you a little more detail than it does in the Activity app. Here we can get a stats view by day, how many calories we're burning. You can see your total energy versus your step count in a four by two. And then you get a four by four that just blows it all out much larger. Next, we've got dark noise. So here we get quick access to ambient sounds. Here's a four by two, which breaks out four different sounds. A four by four, which breaks out eight different sounds just a single widget. Here we have a 4x2 and it's just icons instead of the text. And here we have a 4x4 that really breaks out much more sounds. Next we've got Event Time and this is a countdown app. So here you can see a really nice way of laying out a countdown that you set up. Here I have the Apple event which is coming soon. It's a 2x2 format. 
Here we have a 4x2 format. And then here we have a 4x4 that breaks out multiple different events if you have them set up. Next we've got hour blocks, and this is a day planner. So you can see we've got nothing scheduled for today, but this would essentially show you your up next. And next we have tune track. So this is probably my favorite one here because you actually get two different widgets, one for Apple Music and one for Spotify, and it just shows you what's recently playing. And now these are limited to updating every five minutes, so it's not gonna update in real time like you would hope. But that's of course not TuneTrack's fault, that is a limitation from Apple. All right, so there you have it. There was a first look at a bunch of third-party widgets coming to iOS 14. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Are there any that you're really excited for? As well, please remember to hit that like button. It tells YouTube that this video doesn't suck. As well, hit the subscribe button to see more from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.